Good Friday morning, my friends. This is Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossi. Yes, we made it to Friday. And uh, I'm calling it a pretty nice weekend. In some places, doggone nice weekend. Now, can I start with a, a little bit of a story? You know, I am the meteorologist to the most important person, my wife. And she'll say, hey, should we cover the boat up uh, today? Something like that. I said, no, I, I don't think we got to worry about it. Just a couple of little showers should be fine. Um, but then I get the, obviously I get the, well, the app says this. And I saw on TV, they said that it's, I said, no, don't worry about it. And occasionally I'm wrong. And that's pretty ugly. A couple times a year, I'm wrong, and she looks at me like, but 95% of the time, I'm right on the location. And my point being here where I'm going with this is the weekend forecast in individual locations will be a lot nicer than what your average phone app says. You see the cloud, you see the two raindrops. So... That's why you need me and the M Live Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. There, I'm off my tangent now. And one point being is again today, spotty light rain showers scattered across lower Michigan. And at this time of the year, hopefully you realize that at this time of the year, those things tend to dry up during the morning if they're not robust. And that's what our radar forecast is showing us. So we're going to start here at 10 in the morning with the radar, with the model that I like best in this situation called the NAM. And it has a good depiction at 10 in the morning. Uh, some showers from Ludington, Manistee area down the coastline. Also some showers in the northeast part of lower Michigan. And as you go toward noon, generally those kind of showers dry up. T.J. Brewer, how's Homer looking for the weekend going camping, Big Bend campgrounds? I think you're looking great in Omer. You might have a few showers on Saturday. Uh, so then we go into this afternoon. And do you cancel your plans for something like this on a radar coverage? No, you don't. You wait 15 minutes or a half hour if you get into one of the showers. And we go through the night tonight, and that zone of shower activity is an admittedly uh, becoming more centered over lower Michigan tonight. This is tonight. This is six, seven, that's six o'clock tomorrow morning, seven, eight, nine, ten. You might see showers on your app of the day. Um, would you cancel your plans for this? No, you wouldn't. And you could get damp somewhere, but not real likely. And again, it's a weighted out type thing. So now we're into Saturday evening and not much has happened. And now we're into Saturday night and still some patches of showers, maybe some thunderstorms developing out in the UP. And that's the real deal. That's our next storm system. That's our next storm system for the UP on Sunday for lower Michigan on Monday. Kimberly Zeismer heading to Manistique this weekend. How's it look? Okay, now Manistique and you know, we'll call it the center part of the Upper Peninsula. You're looking wet by the time you get to Sunday. This is Sunday, 7 in the morning. Look at Lower Michigan. Not bad. Look at Traverse City, 10 a.m. Some showers swing through and then maybe dissipate, and things could turn nice. And so as we go into Sunday afternoon, it gets a little more variable in the northern part of Lower Michigan, but the southern part of Lower Michigan is uh still fantastic a little bit uh just a little bit farther out this is sunday afternoon southern michigan most of lower michigan in the southerly flow and looking great and then also northern lower michigan dry maybe the tip of the mitt the bridge the straits region the up maybe into the showers and thunderstorms and then that swings through it looks like on monday into tuesday will we will be wet I'm getting a lot out here, aren't I? I think I'm convincing you to get that boat hooked up, get that ham camper hooked up, get the tent in the back of the SUV or whatever, and go for it. Why? Because time is ticking. Tick, 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 tick on summer weekends. And we know it. 
We know we'll have three or four more. We know we'll have a couple in September that will be just as warm as August, but the time is ticking and you know it's down to about four of them if we're lucky. So high temperatures today, upper 80s in the Detroit area, um, Ann Arbor, it's gonna be warm. Saginaw to Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, low 80s. Northern lower, you're gonna be cloudy, you're gonna be cooler, 75 if you're lucky. Uh, Saturday, low to mid 80s most everywhere. Cooler uh, from Traverse City North in the upper 70s. Sunday, flirting with 90 degrees in a lot of places like Saginaw and Flint and Lansing and Jackson and Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, probably 90 in Ann Arbor and Detroit with all the pavement. Uh, Nicholas Smith, what's the winter weather looking like? We're not even going to go there just yet. Yeah, give me a few months on that, please. Uh, Monday, hot in the southeast and 80s elsewhere. And Tuesday in the 80s and Wednesday in the 80s and Thursday, mostly in the 80s for the southern lower. So we've got a seven-day stretch where we really do have some very nice summery weather. We made it. What I want you to get out of this is that the weekend won't be perfect. Any one spot probably will have an hour or two of showers, but do not cancel the plans. Just go with that day, look at the forecast at that point, and see when the period of rain is forecasted, if it even is, and then have yourself fun. And why? Because of the ticking time on summer weekends. Meg Weiss, will it rain Saturday at all in Dexter, Ann Arbor? I would say no. You know, and if it does, I would say it's a half hour or so. So, Teresa Stepanski, beach day Monday. That's when the storm system is over us. How will Saturday be in Frankenmuth? Should be very nice. Uh, Sandy Lambert should be in the 80s and you might have one half hour shower. Good morning, Mike Joy. So are corn roast and Taylor after five is okay today? Uh, yes, I would say it is. Um, again, I guess the point I'm trying to get to is I don't see a pattern where I would say, go to plan B, put everything inside, except if you're in the UP and it's Sunday. The UP Sunday does look wet. All right, thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. Thank you very much, Consumers Energy, for supporting us so that we can get the weather information out to you. It's me, so I think it's good, but I think it's important. You know, I've been doing this for uh, 33 years now, and it's part science. It's a big part science, meteorology. It's part entertainment and presentation. It's part psychology. I've watched so many people over the years look at a TV weather forecast across the room at a seven day, and there's a raindrop and a raindrop and a raindrop and a raindrop coming out of each car. Oh, wow. We picked a bad week to go on vacation because it's going to rain all week. No. Ah. Oh. Mm -mm. Well, hopefully you get my point. <laughs> I'm done ranting. Send me a bill. Thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Hopefully my bosses didn't mind my rant. Otherwise, I'll see you <laughs> on another avenue sometime on Monday because I will need to continue to, this, to do this because I will need to continue to make a living uh, informing you about the weather. Take care. <laughs> Have yourselves a great weekend. Now I'm really going to shut up. Bye.